to listen. If you want cheap and reliable free 40 no limit team coins for all platforms, check out MMOJ, link will be in the description. Also in the description is a video proving they are legit. Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I've got a video of EA getting back to me again, um, compensating me coins. Now I was really surprised at this, but first I'm going to show you what it's like getting through to EA. Uh, hello EA, um, I'm calling about some, you know, remove coins from my account. Thank you for contacting EA. No, fuck off! Hello, it's me again. You know, I think your colleague was a little rude to me last time, so uh, yeah, I'm contacting about my lost coins. For God's sake, this cunt again. Just give him triple his fucking coins and tell him to piss off. Right, so I hope you did enjoy that, and now I'm going to explain what it means. So, yeah, as you can see now, this is the original email I got. So, yeah, we are contacting you and found your FIFA 14 account to be in ter a violation of our terms of service. Your account has been found to have been involved in purchasing FIFA coins from a third party service. Purchases of FIFA coins from these services are not allowed. Blah blah blah. As a result of this, we have deleted your FIFA 14 ultimate team. Sorry, your FIFA ultimate team and reset your progress, right? And then, yesterday they sent me this email. Hello, thank you for your patience during our investigation of FIFA Ultimate Team Account Inquiry. After reviewing your case, we have decided to credit 2,729,150 coins to your FIFA Ultimate Team. I couldn't be happier. That's three times the amount I had, right? And I'm going to prove it that they have credited me this, and I... I honestly recommend anyone who has even been sent an email, the first email that I did, to contact them again because this proves that they do actually credit it. It's really weird, but yeah, I'll show you like the visual evidence of me having the 2.7 million. Right, so as you can see, my coin total is 2.775 million. I couldn't be happier. Really big thanks to you. They pissed me around for two weeks, but it's worth it now. I have three times the amount of coins I did originally. This does mean several things for my channel. One, the giveaway is back on, the 100k, the 50k and the 25k for a thousand subs, that is back on. Right, so that'll be the 10th of March is when that'll be announced. So yeah, look at that video to see if you have won. If you have, then I'll tell you in that video to leave your details in the description, like how, what time to contact you to give you your coins, the, uh, your console, whatever, all that shit, right? Also, it means I'm going to be doing some big, big player reviews like Ronaldo, Second Inform Robin. Any informs that are big that come out on the Team of the Week, I'll be doing a review as soon as I can. And that'll help growth because reviews I've done like Anan Yanazai when I did it straight away, I got like 2,000 views overnight, which is unheard of for my channel. It also means squad builders will be a lot more expensive. I'll still be doing cheap ones, I'll still be doing My Road to Glory, I'll still be doing. Um, you know who performs best all that stuff will still be coming to you guys so don't worry about that but one thing I'm not doing and you can quote me in this video I am NOT doing big pink slips and I'm not gonna go crazy on them maximum is 50k you may call me stingy but in all honesty a pink slip is when obviously the youtuber wins nothing yes I would probably do big you uh, big pink slips if I was pe uh, people like wrote a show people like that I just don't have the money to keep refunding them. And yes, there is smaller YouTubers who do pink slips and they've got faster growth than me through it. But I don't want to be a pink slip channel. I want to be predominantly like a FIFA channel that is based on gameplay, not pink slips. On pack openings, who performs best, road glories, whatever. Squad builders, play reviews, not pink slips. I'll do them once every one or two weeks for a maximum of 50k. And yeah, that's just how it's going to go. Same as wagers. And yeah, just follow me on Twitter for all that. I may do giveaways and shit like that. But I have been at a 2 million coin stage on FIFA 14 before when I got Ronaldo in a pack. And I fucked it all up by like doing some ridiculous wagers and shit and pack openings and stuff. I'm not going to go down that route again. I don't want to have to fork out hundreds of pounds for um, coins. Because YouTube doesn't pay me a great deal because I'm not exactly big. I still thank all you guys who've subbed to me and watch all my videos. It's really, really good. And hopefully these player reviews of expensive players can grow me even further. And I can reach my 10,000 sub target by the end of the year. And it's thanks to you guys, obviously. So yeah, as I say, the giveaway is back on. More player reviews. 
more squad builders all that but not increased amounts of ping slips I'm sorry for that but any further announcements and shit please do follow me on Twitter you know I'll start using it more predominantly let me know what you want me to tweet and shit like that like if there's any like footballing results or stuff like that I can tweet whatever right I just want to get like some more followers on there so you know I can interact more and easier than having to do like loads of vlogs on YouTube so anyway if you have enjoyed then please do hit that like button really does have my channel subscribe for daily free 14 content if you haven't already remember to check out MMOG link will be in the description for Jim Libel free 14 all the team coins and yeah peace